So first of all, here's my craft room. Um, this is where I plan usually at my desk, but this is my computer desk. So I kind of made two separate stations because in my last house, I had a smaller craft room and I was noticing that I was jumping up my computer space with all of my craft stuff. So I wanted to have a new setup. So in this room, which has, um, this nice big closet to um, store extra supplies and stuff. I'll open that for you guys to see. So there's craft closet. And then it opens on the other side. You can kind of get a feel for it. Got a bunch of other stuff. It's kind of a wreck right now because I need to go through and de-stash. Um, there's my nail polish, which I usually do my nails sitting at my desk here. So, um, made sense to keep my nail station right there set up with all my nail polishes right behind my desk so I could easily grab it. This is my desk. It's kind of cluttered right now. And these are my sticker binders from my shops. The shops that I have the most stickers from, I just went ahead and gave them their own binder. So that's how I usually organize that. Over there is my printing station, computer, um, all that fun stuff. I keep my cart here. The bottom stuff is um, for my daughter. And then this is my little station with my computer set up. And then that's my just fun board, just where I keep all my fun stuff. And my elliptical, which is not going to be here. That's really where Elliot, my daughter, her table is going to go. But when we moved in the house, we didn't want to take the exercise um, equipment upstairs. So we went ahead and st stuck it there for now. But we're going to actually get rid of that one because we just got a new one. So we're just going to get rid of that one. And that's where Elliot's table for coloring and crafts is going to go. And then that's my Paz wall, which I've been collecting for a long time, has about 500. And then this is an old kitchen cart that I was about to throw out in my last house, but then I decided to put it in my craft room and it ended up being the perfect space to store craft supplies and stuff. So these are the original binders that I used before I got my store binders. And I went ahead and organized them by category. So, um, just thought I'd share the categories with you guys real quick. Weekend, weekly, monthly, symbols, banners, pennants, decor, embellishments, and flags And number one. Number two is boxes, headers, dots, checks, to-dos, smileys, emojis, and miscellaneous, which miscellaneous, I really don't have that many in there because usually things fit in a category, but sometimes they just don't. Um, diet, meal planning, exercise, inspiration, religious, um, Number four, planning, crafting, mail, books, community. Number five, tech, media, television, movies, pop culture, and Disney. And I know Disney could probably fit in a bunch of those other categories, but I have um, so many Disney stickers, I just gave it its own category. Um, six, lazy, no, adulting, llamas, magical, mythical, and animal sea. Seven, health, weather, money, travel, auto, cleaning. Eight, now this is for my family, um, stickers that pertain to Elliot, like her swim lesson stickers and play dates and stuff like that go in here. My husband, Chris, um, all of his stickers that kind of are specific to him go in here. Pets, house yard, plants, family and friends. Nine is a big one. I, I have a lot in nine. Um, groceries, retail, coffee and tea, food and drinks. I'll go ahead and flip through this one a little bit so you guys can get an idea. Grocery shopping. Just kind of put all the ones for store specific stores or just the carts and the fun stuff and um, I have a lot for Target I go target targeting a lot so that's kind of my go-to place to get everything because we have a lot of super targets around here I think we have six within 30 minutes of me not just super targets but regular targets and super targets I think we have four super targets within 30 minutes. So, uh, Michael's, Costco, all these different stores. And then, um, coffee. I love coffee. So we have a ton of those, all the different meals, pizza, you name it. 
and then in the back there's like drinks and beverages and fun stuff like that. So this one get, got thick really quickly. Um, 10 shopping girly grooming dates and love. 11 holiday seasons, calendars, birthdays. 12 and 13, or actually 12, 12 is samplers. Samplers, um, for all those little um, samplers that shop owners send out, I just kind of put them all in one place just to kind of keep them together. Um, it's fun to kind of go through and you can see all the shop owners' different styles, especially for the hand-drawn sticker shops, but that's a fun way to keep them all together. And then 13 and 14, I'm really proud of these just because I've been working on them for a while. And these are sorted by colors. A lot of stores have come out with monochromatic kits, just samplers, and I've kind of put them in here to get them out of the way. So I'm not going to flip through. I'll just do it like this. So I will just, you know, just monochromatic. So if I'm looking for a certain color, then I can just look in here and kind of find a header or maybe a fun quarter box or a neat embellishment or a neat symbol that'll match whatever spread I'm doing. And same goes for greens, purples, blues, blacks, etc. So so I really love those. And 15, these are just for miscellaneous kits. So I just have a bunch in here, just all sorts of different kits. Some of them have been used a little bit, some of them haven't. These are kits that, um, and then this is just clips. So I just keep my clips stored in here, some of my clips, but um, some other ones don't fit. So I need to really go through that. But um, as for the shops, oh, and my, my door, sorry. I painted my door to resemble Monica Geller's door and friends. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. When we first moved in here, I just thought I'd have to, and I, these are just, these are just um, vinyl that I did to match her little gold embellishments or bronze embellishments on her door. Um, so the stores that I have that I pulled out of the binders, which the binders were overflowing. So I pulled out the stores that I had the most of and put them in the Russell and Hazel binders, just like Chrissy Ann Designs uses. Um, so these are my Chrissy Ann Designs ones. These three are from Plantasia Print Shop. Plantasia um, is who I'm on her creative team, and Kristen is just fantastic. I really, really love her designs. She's got such a great, um, great style. And then there's some Bubba Bear. There's three binders of Bubba Bear. And... Um, Lily Henry, I have two of hers. Rack paper stickers, I love Jillian and her design. She's awesome. Pretty Sheepy, Planner Penny, Little Red Prince. Um, hers is almost needing two. Uh, Planner Junkie, Lil's Little Cupboard, Peanut Butter Taco. Monica just does an awesome job. Kylie and Chaos, Small Town Grace. Blue Scooter Press is one of my favorites. Um, Mary is so good at what she does, and I highly recommend her shop if you haven't tried her out yet. Oh, hey, you can see my two full binders from Shannon and Dave, and they are so much fun. Um, so I'm almost needing a third there. And Design Pandemonium is one of my favorites. Lexi, Kylie, Anxiety Aids, and uh, Fox and Cactus, and Mila Prince, um, Mila Print Shop. So her stuff is down there too. And I really love just having these set up. I'll just grab Fox and Cactus to show you real quick. I just kind of have um, hers divided up. So I just kind of have the little half. These are just the little recipe card sheets for the tiny sheets. And a lot of them that have tiny sheets like her and Bubba Bear, I just kind of have their stuff divided this way because it just really saves space and um, it's easier to flip through and see everything so you can kind of get an idea for how the rest of the binders are done so um, yeah and then I usually put the kits in the back or if if there's more than one binder the kits have their own binder like in Plantasia and Bubba Bear they usually have their own binder so um, that's how I usually go about organizing my stickers 
when I notice that one of my categorized stickers, um, when I notice that there's a lot of one particular shop, then I usually just grab a Russell and Hazel binder, which the white pattern are really becoming hard to find, but I did find some on their website and I have used Chrissy and Designs before to do that, um, to get some of hers personalized for the shops. And um, it's worked out pretty well. So it's a good system, but that just works for me. I know some people who do a file folder and like a flip through kind of thing, which works for them. So um, yeah, so this is my craft room. And um, this is where I spend a lot of time, but it, I wish I could spend more time. And um, thanks for checking it out. And if you have any questions, um, you can find me on Instagram at The Glittery Thumbprint. Bye.